Hey everybody, uh, today I'm just going to make something easy and quick. It's just something I like to do, you know, it's a good meal. Um, we're going to use tilapia. Most people use catfish and other different types of fish when they do a fish fry. Uh, we're going to use tilapia. And first, what I do is I get yellow mustard, just plain yellow mustard, or you can use Dijon or something. And use Tony Satchfer's or you can use Slappy Mama. Any kind of Cajun seasoning works well. So we're just going to get our fish we've already cleaned and I usually cut mine up into slices like strip pieces so you just get you know I don't have a certain amount just kind of wing it pour it in there like that there's a little bit of water in there too left over that's good and then you just gonna sprinkle some on here that may be too spicy I don't know now you just kind of mix it up. That's all we're doing right now. Just mixing it up, getting the mustard, coating on all the fish. Okay, so this may be, I mean, this is probably enough mustard. You just basically want to mix it up good and coat it good. See, like that. See it? Mustard with the seasoning is basically all you want to do is just kind of mix it up all that. And that's what it's going to marinate in. And it actually is pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to use, I love this fish fry, it's a basic fish fry here, especially in Louisiana. Duff, Louisiana on there, in Louisiana. This is really good, it's got seasoning in it. Um, I always use this. I don't try to make my own, uh, I just go with this every time. Okay, so I think we're good on this. So now we're going to cover this with some plastic and we'll just let this set. 30 minutes probably, it ain't gonna set very long. Just kinda let it just set in its own juices and everything. And we'll come back and go to the next thing. Okay, now we have the fish in the refrigerator now. We're just gonna, like I said, let it marinate probably about 30 minutes. That'll give us time to prepare the fish puppies and to get our grease hot, which I'm fixing to do next. Um, show them the packets, son. Okay, they both have a packet. See, that's a hush puppy mix. We were gonna do frozen. <coughs> that they were out. Uh, I guess everybody in the world is doing fish today, along with toilet paper and everything else, hand sanitizers. <laughs> so, but they did have this, so we're fortunate enough to have this. This is still easy. It's just like doing muffins or, you know, anything else out of a package. You add water, add milk to it. I think we're gonna add milk. We think that with the milk, it will have a little bit better flavor. So the boys are fixing to prepare this batter and stuff for the hush puppies, and um, we'll go from there. Oh, okay, now he's, I'm sorry. I thought you were just staring into it. Um, you need a spoon. Look at this dude. The whisk would be better. The whisk. Yeah, the whisk. The whisk is in, Dad. Over there? Yes. God, hush puppy batter smells so god darn. As you can see, I'm wearing my One Punch Man shirt, oddly reminiscent of me. I'm wearing a California shirt. Deep, get nice and deep on this camera yeah, shot. Real good. See, now there's different techniques of whisking, you know. There's overhand like this, and there's the firm grip. Or you could be weird and do this. Wait, this is the overhand. Never mind. This is more important. Okay, now it's more important. God, I smell this batter. It's so great. It smells sick. Does it? Yes. It's a little more that way. Okay. When guys do it, it's weird. Yeah, really. I'm more natural. This reminds me of that Gordon Ramsay clip uh, where the kids. You started in a job The, the, kid, the kids' chefs where. It's like the kid is like whipping really hard because he's trying to hurry up and get, get to the Yeah, no, he's trying to hurry up and get to the timer because the timer is about to run out. Because on like a kid's iron chef, it's like a clip on YouTube. Two, it's like a meme. so about 12.55, it'll be ready to go. <clears throat> so Star Wars Battlefront 2 ended their update cycle, meaning they're not going to update their game anymore. You told us. No, I'm telling the viewers. Oh, he's going to edit that <laughs> Okay, so we got that here. Let me see it. Let me go. Oh, let me make sure everything's good. 
Which you did good. It looks good. See, because it's kind of got that doughiness to it, so that'll be good whenever we go to uh, scoop it up and put it in there. You did good, Kenneth. You did real good. That's from the milk. Yep. Okay. Uh, we have the fry daddy heating up the oil right now, and we have the fish in there marinating. The kids whipped together the hush puppy batter. So now all I'm doing now is just, while everything's now sitting and waiting, doing its thing, get that losing fish fry, I'm just gonna put it on a plate. I like laying it on a plate. So I'm gonna start off with uh, two packs. That smells so good. It's got good seasonings to it. You smell it? You smell it? Okay. I know that's gonna taste good. See? It's just a seasoning. Darkness. So, whenever we get everything out, we'll just get the fish. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, now it's time. We've got everything prepped and ready. Grease is ready. So, now we're going to start to do the batter. I think I'm going to do like a smaller, thin piece first so I can let. I'm a big attract. See, look, I'm just coating it. I mean, it's very easy, self-explanatory. Sometimes I like to get it and you know, kind of pat it in some like that. Question for the viewers, how much batter or how much of that should you coat it all in? It's just personal preference. So because either way, when you shake it and everything, it'll come off. I like to like put it in there and do like I'm doing now. Kind of put some on it and just kind of press it in. See? How much can you pack into that fry daddy? Um, a small one like this. I usually do like four or five pieces because you don't want never want to overcrowd anything. So I would do I'm gonna do probably about four. How much time do you reckon until it's all crispy to pull it out or pull out a piece? How much time would you reckon? Well it takes? usually when it, when you deep fry them, um, it'll start to rise to the top when it's done. Also, depending on the, the darkness of the the uh, crust, you know, what you want to do. Three. Okay, because I'm facing a scoop it, and I'm like bringing it to the surface. So, got our fish frying. Looks pretty good. Um, now, if I had a bigger fry daddy, you know, I could put more pieces in there, but I don't because I don't fry, deep fry that often. I usually try to eat somewhat healthier, so I don't do this very often, just here and there. What all fish have you cooked in the fried onion? I fried catfish nuggets, bass, and per Fried tackle tuna? Not frying tuna, no. Just uh, what about salmon? No. You really want to cook a salmon? Bake it. Okay. Grill it, but not fry it. Okay, you look, now you see how they're floating kind of? That was another helpful indicator that they're done. Take a piece for you and a piece for mom. I love pieces. <laughs> I thought she made it. I mean, she is technically right. I mean, if you're resting people. No, it's Mother's Day. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't go that far. Just grab it. Test the thin, thin pieces. You like it? See, that's what you're eating. We're seeing these are the real thing. Okay, we're cooking our hush puppies and everything. We made the mistake the first ones we went took out. 
they uh, were kind of gooey in the inside, so we decided to let them go a little longer, as you can tell. So hopefully they'll all be good. They'll all be cooked thoroughly. Okay, been cooking on the french fries, cooking on the french fries, yeah, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, this is the finished product. There's our fish, homemade hush puppies, and our french fries. This shall be good and tasty. So goodbye everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. Okay, y'all ready? Okay, ready? Yes. I'm going to pray. Here we go. Dear Father, thank you, Lord, for... Look at this dude. <laughs>